Let's look at 73 cars in 30 minutes. We also look at two SUVs and one horse-drawn carriage. Watch now. Welcome to Feed Your Brain. This is a car. It has four wheels. The color is a cream color or off-white. To know what company makes a vehicle, look for the logo somewhere on the front or the back. Here is the logo, in the front, covering the radiator grille. This is the very distinctive Mercedes-Benz logo. Mercedes-Benz makes luxury vehicles and is based in Germany. The engine is up front, here, under the hood. This car also only has two doors, one door on each side. A two-door car is called a coupe. This is a 1956 Buick Special, so this car is 66 years old. That is quite old. You can see the name Buick in the front, and you can see the name Special here on the side. Buick Specials were low-priced American vehicles. The engine is in the front here, and this is a two-door coupe. This is a Lamborghini, and it is bright orange. It's also a two-door coupe. You can see the logo here at the front. Here is the logo of a bull. Lamborghini is an Italian luxury sports car, and the prices will reinforce that this indeed is a luxury to be able to own one of these cars. Lamborghinis start at around $200,000 and go up to as much as over $500,000, depending on which model it is. This is a Mini. The nameplate Mini is owned by BMW in Germany. This is a two-door coupe. It seems like the later models of this car are meant to be referred to as only Mini, but on the rear of every vehicle is the word Cooper, so it seems as though these cars are still called Mini Coopers. The latest engines are called Cooper S and John Cooper Works, so maybe the Cooper name is only meant to refer to the engine? The engine is here in the front. The new Minis cost between $35,000 and $50,000, This is a BMW Sports Coupe Convertible. You can see the logo here at the front of the car. And you can see the logo on each wheel here. It's a coupe, why again? Because it only has two doors. And this car is a convertible, because its top can be put down, which you see here. BMW again, is a German luxury vehicle manufacturer based in Germany. A new model sports coupe can cost between $50,000 and $100,000. This is a 1964 Volkswagen Beetle. Can you tell why it's called a Beetle? Its shape looks similar to the shape of a Beetle, like this ladybug. Volkswagen is a German automobile manufacturer. The engine is in the back, here. And this front part is actually the trunk. And this Beetle is a two-door coupe. This is a Porsche 911 GT3. Here is the logo. This is a horse. This word is Stuttgart, which is a German word that means stud farm, which is what the city of Stuttgart, Germany, was founded on, horse stud farms. Porsches are high-performance sports cars. This is a white two-door coupe. This is called the rear spoiler. It reduces air drag on the car and helps keep the tires firm on the road for better grip which helps in cornering. And the engine is up front, here. Volkswagen and Porsche merged in 2011. Volkswagen Group owns Porsche. This is what's called a smart car. These cars are no longer sold in the United States. Smart cars are sold in Europe and China. This is a two-door coupe and is a convertible. You can see here, the top is down. This smart car has an electric motor, which is in the back.
This is a 1964 Ford Mustang. Ford is an American automobile manufacturer. 1964 was the first year this Ford Mustang was released. Ford expected to sell 100,000 units a year, but in the first year, Ford sold over 400,000 units. So the Ford Mustang was an impressive success. It took only two years for Ford to sell 1 million Mustangs. In August 2018, Ford produced 10 million Mustangs. This is the Mustang logo. Look for it on the front and sides of the car. The style of the Mustang has changed over the years, and the style is grouped into, so far, seven generations. So this is the first generation. This is the second generation. This is the third generation. This is the fourth generation. This is the fifth generation. This is the sixth generation, which takes us to 2022. Then on September 14, 2022, Ford will unveil the seventh generation Mustang at a special event. This is a 1916 Ford Model T car. This is over 100 years old. The Ford Model T is considered the first affordable automobile, which opened up car travel to middle-class Americans. This is a 1925 Ford Model T. The Ford Model T car was built from 1908 to 1927, which is almost 20 years. This is a 1985 Ford Escort. This is a two-door hatchback. There is one door on each side, and the back door lifts up, or a visible compartment is, which is called a hatchback. The first Escorts were introduced in 1981. The first generation Escorts were from 1981 to 1990. This is a 1993 Ford Escort. This is a four-door with a trunk, and that is called a sedan. The second generation Escorts were from 1991 to 1996. And this is a 1997 Ford Escort. This is also a sedan, because it has four doors and a trunk. The third generation Escorts were from 1997 to 2003. The Ford Escort was the best-selling car in the United States for much of the 1980s. This is a 1967 Chevrolet Camaro. Chevrolet is an American automobile manufacturer. You can also call them Chevy, for short. First-generation Camaros were from year 1967 to 1969. This one is a two-door coupe. This is a 1973 Chevy Camaro, and this style is a Z28. The second generation of Camaros were from years 1970 to 1981. This is a 1982 Chevy Camaro, and this style is the Irox Z. This is a two-door hatchback. The third-generation Camaros were from years 1982 to 1992. This is a 1993 Chevy Camaro Z28, and it's a two-door coupe. The fourth-generation Camaros were from years 1993 to 2002. This is a 2010 Chevy Camaro, and it's a two-door coupe. The fifth-generation Camaros were from years 2010 to 2015. This is a 2018 Chevrolet Camaro, and this style is an RS. This is also a two-door coupe. The sixth-generation Camaros are from the year 2016 to the present. This is a race car. For safety, the driver has to wear a helmet, and look, there is no top to the car here. This race car only has one seat, and that's for the driver. This vehicle was developed by Carl Benz in 1885. That's a long time ago, that's over 130 years ago. This is one of the first vehicles powered by a gas engine. It has a single cylinder and a four-stroke engine installed horizontally in the back, and the engine output was three-quarters of a horsepower. Here is a red old-timer car. It's a convertible. You see here, the top is down. The hood ornament is an airplane. With the round forms all over, this would be a model in the 1950s. Here is another old-timer car. 
Also, because of all of the round forms, this one was probably from the 1950s as well. This car is called a station wagon, because the cab area extends all the way to the back. Here is a newer four-door Honda Accord, all black. It has custom accessories, such as this lower front bumper, custom speakers here, and red lights underneath the car, here, and here. Here is a newer Mercedes-Benz two-door coupe. Here is another smart car, this one is blue with silver accents. This is an Audi four-door station wagon. Audi is a German automobile manufacturer. Here is the Audi logo on the back of the car. These four rings are the Audi logo, so you know it's an Audi. This model of car is an RS6, as it's shown right here, also on the back of the car. This is a race car. It goes very fast and is only for professional race car drivers. This style of car is called an open-wheeled single-seater Formula race car. And this is an American Indy car. Here is a really old two-seater touring car. This is a car you drive around long country roads on to enjoy the scenery and then stop somewhere and enjoy a picnic. There's two spare tires in the back, and here's a picnic basket. The hood ornament is a skater. This is a 1928 Studebaker Commander. Studebaker was an automobile manufacturer based in Indiana and lasted until the 1960s. This photo was taken from the Zimmerman, the Automobile Driving Museum in El Segundo, California. This is a 1964 Ford Thunderbird. Thunderbirds were luxury cars made by Ford from 1955 until 1977. And then Ford produced Thunderbirds again from 2002 until 2005. You can see the long word Thunderbird here, across the front of the hood. These are white wall tires, or white sidewall tires. This style was popular with older vehicles. But by the 1960s, white wall tires were not popular anymore. The white wall tires were seen as more stylish, because they are white, white wall tires take more care to keep clean than all black tires. This is also a 1964 Ford Thunderbird. This vehicle is different than the previous 1964 Ford Thunderbird. Can you tell all of the differences? First, look at how bright red this Thunderbird is. Wow, it's such a deep cherry red. Also, this Thunderbird is a convertible. See how its top is down? And also, more difficult to tell, is this Thunderbird is only a two-seater. There are no seats in the back behind the front two seats. This is a 1936 Packard four-door convertible sedan. Packard was an American luxury automobile company, located in Detroit, Michigan. Packard automobiles were produced from 1908 to 1958. Owning a Packard vehicle was prestigious. As you can see from this vehicle, every detail looks quite luxurious. This photo was taken at the Automotive Museum, in El Segundo, California. This is a Bentley. Bentley is a British automaker of luxury cars and SUVs, and is owned by the Volkswagen Group. New Bentleys cost between $200,000 and $600,000, and emphasize luxury down to every detail. This is the Bentley logo on the front of the hood. Here is the logo larger. It's a stylized letter B over what looks like eagle wings and tail. This is a newer model Hyundai Sonata, it's a four-door sedan. This is the Hyundai logo, it's a stylized letter H within an oval. Hyundai is a South Korean automotive manufacturer. Hyundai Motor Company was founded in 1967. This is a 2006 Mercury Milan Premier. Mercury is a division of Ford Motor Company. This one shown here is a four-door sedan. 
Here is the Mercury logo, on the front of the grill, and here it is larger. This is a Rolls-Royce Phantom. Here is the Rolls-Royce logo, and here is the hood ornament. The logo is two overlapping R's. The hood ornament is called the Spurt of Ecstasy. Both the logo and ornament are highly recognized around the world. The name and brand Rolls-Royce is one of the most recognized brands in the world. Rolls-Royce are consider ultra-luxury vehicles, the highest level of luxury of any vehicles anywhere. A new Rolls-Royce costs over $300,000, and can cost even over $500,000. This Rolls-Royce Phantom has a powerful 564 horsepower V12 engine. Rolls-Royce is British, and is currently owned by BMW of Germany. This is a 2015 Toyota Corolla, silver, four-door sedan. This is the Toyota logo on the front of the car, here. This logo is only three ovals. The two ovals in the middle overlap to form the letter T. Toyota is a Japanese automobile manufacturer. It was formed in 1937. This is a Ford model A car. This style of Model A began with model year 1928. By 1929, 2 million Model A's had been sold. The name Ford Model A had also been released in 1903 and 1904 only. Here is an ad for the 1904 Ford Model A. This is a Chevrolet Camaro. But this is no ordinary engine. Look at the size of this engine, and it's so large that it sticks out of the hood, and there's even an opening in the hood so the engine can stick out of it. This is a custom-built engine that's put in long after the original car was purchased new from a dealership. Here is another Chevy Camaro, this one is Model SS, you can see the two S's here. This is a Dodge Viper. It's a luxury sports car manufactured by Dodge from 1992, until 2017, with some years having no production. Dodge is an American automobile, and it was owned by the Chrysler Corporation. Chrysler is now part of FCA US LLC, which stands for Fiat, Chrysler, Automobiles, United States, and LLC stands for Limited Liability Corporation. So this was the result of Chrysler Group being a subsidiary of Fiat in 2014, and then the current name of FCA US LLC was implemented at the end of 2014. This is a Chevrolet, you can see the words here on the front of the hood. Based on the shapes on the car, it looks like a 1960s era model year. This is a Dodge Challenger, and there's the letters RT on the front here. This model Challenger is considered the third and current generation of the Dodge Challenger. It's considered a pony car, and was first released in 2008. Chrysler has since announced that the Challenger will not be released after model year 2023. The designation of pony car is a type of car that is stylish, affordable, American cars that have been mass-produced. Pony cars have two doors, and four seats, and are performance-oriented. Here is another Rolls Royce, as you can tell from the Spirit of Ecstasy hood ornament, and the double R logo up at the front. Here is another Chevy Camaro, and this is such a bright yellow. Do you like bright colored cars? One good thing is that you can easily spot your car in a parking lot, but then everyone else can easily spot you as well. This would be considered a pony car as well. This is a Chevrolet Corvette. Corvettes are all two-door, two-passenger luxury sports cars built by Chevrolet, since 1953. So far there have been eight design generations of the Corvette, and they are labeled sequentially from 1 to 8 with a letter C at the beginning, so there is C1, which is the first generation Corvette, then C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, and the current generation of Corvette is the C8. This Corvette is the C5, or fifth generation, Corvette. And look how its headlights look like open eyes with eyelids. The headlights rotate down into the hood of the car when not in use. Chevrolet is an American automobile manufacturer, and it is a division of the American Manufacturer General Motors, or GM.
This is a 1964 Chevrolet Impala Sports Coupe. The Impala was first introduced in 1958, and the last model year was in 2020. The Impala is considered a full-size car. You can tell this one is a 1960s era vehicle because of the sharper angles all over the car. This is a 1981 Chevrolet Malibu, and it's a four-door sedan, with a large trunk here. What color is this car? Is it red? Or is it more accurate to call it maroon? Are you familiar with the color maroon? Are you also familiar with the color burgundy? Maroon and burgundy are really close colors, and are both darker reds. Maroon is made by adding brown to red. And burgundy is made by adding purple to red. So there is a slight difference between maroon and burgundy, because they are each made differently. So what do you think? It looks closest to maroon to me. But I'm just a digital voice. The hex numbers are really close as well, as you can see here. The Chevrolet Malibu is considered a midsize car. The first Malibus were released in 1964. There are currently nine generations of Malibus. This is a 1982 Chevrolet Malibu four-door station wagon, and this color is brown. Look how much extra room you get in the back with a station wagon. But the trade-off is that everyone can see what you have in your car, whereas with a trunk, no one can see inside your trunk to know what you are keeping there. This is a 1951 Chevy Deluxe. This is a two-door coupe. You can tell this car is from the 1950s era, because all of the shapes on the car are round. And look how huge that trunk is. This Chevy Deluxe looks lower to the ground than the original vehicles. What color would you call this? It's not white. You can call this off white or even cream color. This is a 1953 Chevy panel truck. This is a panel truck, because it's a truck shape, but it has a fully enclosed back with no side windows on the back. These front door windows, though, are shorter than how it was originally built. And look, there's no door handle. And you can barely see the edge of the door. All of these are custom features, so this Chevy panel truck had custom body work performed on it. Also, what color would you call this panel truck? It's not blue, but also, it's not green. You might think it's teal or turquoise. It's a very custom color. This is an Audi stock car, converted to a dirt race car. The RS on the side of the car stands for Racing Sport. This race is on a dirt path. Here is a Porsche used in a race, on a race track. Here is an old-timer Buick station wagon. The sides are made of actual wood, if you can believe that. Buick is an American automobile manufacturer and is a division of General Motors, or GM for short. The year of this wagon is in the 1940s or 1950s, and you can tell, because all of the body parts are quite round. Here is an older 1959 Cadillac, and a few things that stand out are, first, it's so pink. Second, these long tail fins in the back. These tail fins stand out as being in the late 50s and 60s on American automobiles, and Cadillac was the first to use fins. This is the Cadillac logo, and the center is a crest, and the outer part is a reed. The crest is reminiscent of a shield or a coat of arms. But then in 2014, the reed was dropped, and this is the current logo here. This is a 1907 Cadillac. Cadillac is a division of the American automobile manufacturer General Motors, or GM. Cadillac is a luxury brand of vehicles. The first Cadillacs came out in 1902. These early models, such as the one here, were considered two-seat horseless carriages, and were powered by a 10-horsepower single-cylinder engine. Because these were some of the first automobiles, they're compared to horse-drawn carriages of the time. So if you owned one of these, you saw it as an upgrade from having to have horses pull you in a carriage, like this. Here is a 1921 Cadillac Suburban. Notice the white walls of the tires, which was popular with early cars. Here is a 1978 Cadillac DeVille. You'd call this a cream color or off-white, it's not quite fully white. This is a four-door sedan, and look how large the front end is and look how large the trunk is. Cadillac is known for its large-size luxury vehicles. You can see the hood ornament prominently displayed here at the front. Here is a 1992 Cadillac Seville. 
You can see the hood ornament here as well, you can make out the crest in the middle and the wreath along the sides. This is a 1999 Cadillac Escalade SUV. This is the first year that the Escalade came out. The Escalade is a full-size luxury SUV. This is the first SUV for Cadillac. SUV stands for Sport Utility Vehicle. This is a year 2000 Cadillac DeVille, and you can make out the hood ornament here as well. This color is clearly white. This is a 2005 Cadillac SRX SUV, or Sport Utility Vehicle. This is a midsize luxury SUV. This is a 2008 Cadillac CTS sedan, off-white. This 2008 model features angled lines, which you can easily see here in the front and with the trunk as well. This angled design was a very distinctive Cadillac design. And the hood ornament is no longer up on top, but the logo is mounted in front, on top of the grill guard. This is a 2010 Cadillac Escalade, third generation. This is the 2023 Cadillac CT5 V Series. The newer, latest Cadillac logo is easily seen here. This is a luxury sports sedan. Here is the 2023 Cadillac CT4. This is a 1969 Ford Squire, station wagon, and is considered the seventh generation of the Ford Squire. The wood paneling you see here by this year is fake, and therefore, it's not real wood. But go back to the first generation of the Ford Squire. And this is what you have here, the 1950 Ford Squire, the first generation of the Squires. Squire is an interesting word. It can mean a shield bearer or armor bearer of a knight. It can mean a member of the British gentry ranking below a knight and above a gentleman. It can mean a male attendant, especially on a great personage. It can also mean an owner of a country estate, particularly a landowner in a village or district. Which of these meanings of Squire do you think Ford is referring to with this car's name, the Ford Squire? As you can see from this 1950 model, everything is very round, so you know that you are looking at a year from the 1940s to the 1950s. Then when you look at this 1969 model, with all the body shapes more angled, you're looking at a year from the 1960s to the 1970s. And this is the 1991 Ford Squire, station wagon, 8th generation. And this is the last generation of the station wagons from Ford. Sales declined due to the introduction of the Chrysler minivans and the Ford Aerostar. And again, this wood paneling here is synthetic, or fake, and not real wood. Here in the front of the air grill is the Ford logo. And here is the logo larger, which looks as if it was handwritten from Henry Ford himself. This is a Fiat automobile. It's called the new 500, which designates this Fiat 500 as an electric battery-powered car. Fiat is an Italian automobile manufacturer. This new 500 electric Fiat was introduced in 2020. Here is the Fiat logo. Fiat is an acronym that stands for Fabbrica Italian Automobili Torino. Fiat was founded in Italy in 1899 in Turin, Italy. As you can see from the size of this Fiat new 500, Fiat's success is in building city cars and super minis. This is a 1957 Fiat 500, which is the year the 500 series was first released. The engine size is 479 cc or cubic centimeters, but it's referred to as a 500 cc or cubic centimeters size engine. Which is where the model name 500 comes from. And it is a two-cylinder engine, producing 13 horsepower. This is a 2004 Ferrari F430. This is a sports car produced by the luxury Italian automobile manufacturer Ferrari from 2004 until 2009. You can see the Ferrari logo here in the front, and also here on the side over the fender. Here is the logo enlarged, which is on a shield with the letters S and F, which stand for Scuderia Ferrari, which is the racing division of Ferrari. Scuderia is Italian for a stable for racing horses. And the horse is a prancing horse, 
which was the symbol on Italian World War I Francesco Baracca's fighter plane. The Ferrari racing team competes in Formula One racing and is the most successful Formula One team. There is also this Ferrari logo, which is on the hood of the car. This is the latest Ferrari 812 GTS convertible, as shown on the Ferrari website. It features a V12 engine. It is a two-seater, luxury sports car, and is a convertible. Please hit like and subscribe. That helps a lot. Thank you for watching. Feed your brain.